This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. I'm back, bitches! I'd say we're off to a very loud start, but then again, the other game, the original Subnautica, began with a crash too, so good to know we're still keeping with tradition. I'm getting a lot more food than water, but I think that's everything. Uh, at least that's everything I'm gonna find. Onward we go before I freeze to death. Hello, friends. Thank you for the warmth. I do like Robin's voice, though. Robin's new voice is great. Kind of reminds me a bit of Alex. A, a kind of like a midpoint between Half-Life Alex Alex and Half-Life 2 Alex. Something like that. Welcome back to the underwater world, ladies and gentlemen. I know we all missed it. Why is there a plant that's a giant heater unit? Who cares? Who cares? It helps me. Actually, in keeping with in keeping with Subnautica tradition, which I say tradition is if there's more than one game. Well, there is now, but as if there's been more than these games. But in keeping with how Subnautica lore worked before, a, pod. a lot of the uh, the fauna and such is based off of actual, like, some real-life concepts, or at least things that sound like they could work in the real world, just taken to the extreme. The interesting thing about those uh, heat lilies is they absorb heat during the day to, uh, to warm themselves during the night. So kind of like solar panel flowers. It sounds goofy and ridiculous, but I mean, in like if it was taken to a less extreme, it could probably exist in the real world, or at least on an alien world. This implies that Reaper Leviathans could exist and I ain't about that life. Honestly, of all the Leviathans, I think the Reaper Leviathan is the most like, this could be a real thing just on a different planet that's a lot more aquatic based than ours. And ours is already like 70% water. But if most life was underwater on like some alien planet, the Reaper could absolutely exist. Like that is a very plausible creature. I think the least plausible from Subnautica was the Sea Dragon. And like the Ghost Leviathan was like, there are actual bioluminescent jelly-like creatures in the real world. What if we made it 50 feet long and a screaming nightmare creature? Like again, it's taking real world concepts or things that sound like they could exist in nature somewhere and they just push it to 11. The Emperor with its telepathy. Yeah, the Emperor, the Emperor, Empress, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, that, that, that is also less, um, that's very that's very clearly the sci-fi element but still like most of the things in subnautica but in subnautica could actually exist in some alien ecology ecology i want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister i got to know sam better towards the end of my mandate oh, with she's dead. on 4546b when we were thrown together as base mates at outpost zero she spoke often and fondly of you i thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Yeah, new voice. I, I actually like Robin's new voice. It's completely fine. Dear, let me let me make sure there's no glare in the background. Dear Miss Au, Au, on behalf of Zeta Lun on behalf of Zeta Landon, a 4546B robotic section leader. I'm actually going to make sure I'm not drowning first. <laughs> and Indra Karmic, president of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died, or Ayu. She died <clears throat> on planet 4546B, regrettably as the result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Mm -hmm. Please allow me to, commu uh, to communicate the most profound condolences. Oh, hang on. I need to put, uh, I need to put on like my total sleaze bag voice for this. <clears throat> Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and, Recu and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin. 
with regards to payment of damages and legal fees. If you have any questions, you may file for <laughs> and your query will be addressed in the in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Desjardins. 4546B Communications Liaise or Liaison Altera Transgov. Well, that guy sounds like a prick. In fact, Altera just in general is made up of nothing but giant pricks. And not in the fun way. Okay. So, first order of business. Get these fucking flares out of my inventory. Why did I pick up all these flares? Why did I pick all these flares? Anyway, so... First order of business, making myself some tools. So we're gonna need fiber mesh silicon and titanium to make a sur uh, yeah, we need titanium silicon. Make ourselves a knife in the scanner, first of all. God, they made this game look so much better. Should be able to use this. Like compared to the early access, God, this looks so much better. You can actually see more than like 20 feet in front of you. Oh yeah, uh, sans messages, one sec. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Come here. I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. Potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. And suddenly nighttime. That was fast. Well, we start with the heartwarming. We're eventually going to get to the heart wrenching and then death. That's the progression of these messages. I'm just going to guess. Yeah, it got night real fucking fast. And now we need to find, so what do we need? We need more copper ore to make copper wires. We're going to need ribbon plants to make a battery. Uh, to make ourselves our trusty scanner, we just need a battery. And to make a knife, we just need an extra, an extra bit of titanium and some silicon rubber. Which I know exactly where to get that. Thankfully. Next message. 4546B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. <laughs> it's going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... I can see why it's uninhabited. Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but... Anyway, um... I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but... You've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Indeed they do. Such as... Batteries. God damn it, Seth. I only just managed to catch a stream of yours and you're already giving me nightmares of, un of imagining these damn fish in real life. Way to welcome a guy back. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that's just that's what I like about these games a lot of their ideas are actually plausible most anyway what the hell is going on on the surface right now oh death and lightning storms so good to see that uh, below zero has not left out the the apocalypse is happening on the surface at almost all times best just stay underwater aspect oxygen Yes, thank you. <laughs> Glad to know they have not left out oxygen. Just your PDA warning you of your impending death, not with like saying swim to the surface, it just says oxygen. Glad to know that's still a thing. Yep. We have not left out oxygen, dumbass! New blueprint synthesized. Ah, it just doesn't have the same ring to it as uh, 
New blueprint acquired. It doesn't, it's just not the same. Mm, damn it. It's fine. I'll get used to it. Just, ah. It's going to take me a while. So as someone who didn't catch the intro, why are we stranded? We are looking for what happened to our sister, uh, Sam, who died on this planet. And speaking of which, I should probably keep playing those, uh, those logs. Hey, Robin, I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, and my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. I still love that term, Altera Rising. I'm gonna steal that. Ah, shit is about to get bad. I wonder what the multi-million dollar company wanted to hide down there. We'll find out. Altera, Altera Rising, while Advent takes advantage. Okay, enough. Fuck, wrong button. <laughs> okay, enough. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty decent. That, that is actually a pretty decent pun. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's, <laughs> that works. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry, my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. And I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but uh, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Altera supply cache nearby. Thank you for punctuating the, uh, <laughs> thank you for punctuating the moment, PDA. Fucking God. <laughs> God damn. Read the fucking room, PDA. <laughs> hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. First of all, now we actually know how to uh, really pronounce it. Kara. I'm still going to say Kara because that's a bit less... I don't know, it's easier, it's easier to say it that way. But yeah, the actual way you pronounce it is Kara. But, uh, shit. Okay, yeah. Um... Definitely seeing the improvements in the story already. I mean, maybe the improvements are just because they added in, like, good voice acting, but still. Or any voice acting. 
Is oxygen a premium a premium currency? I mean, Altera sounds like sounds like your typical run of the mill Wayland Utani like awful fucking corporate uh, sleaze bags. So, absolutely in Altera's world, Umbrella never dies, does it? Nope, it just transcends game titles and changes names. Every single fucking thing that goes wrong can be traced back to Umbrella, apparently, according to RE Village. Everything can be traced back to that fucking company. Fucking Pompeii Volcano? Umbrella. 9-11? Umbrella. War the World Wars? Umbrella. <laughs> COVID? Umbrella. And that is hilarious because that actually could be a thing. The Titanic? Umbrella. The Challenger? Umbrella. <laughs> the dinosaurs going extinct. <laughs> Yeah, Umbrella controlled the fucking meteor that crashed into the planet. <laughs> the Black Plague? Definitely Umbrella. The Bubonic Plague? Also Umbrella. They do a lot of plagues. Wayland yutani Umbrella. <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting distracted. What the fuck am I doing? What am I trying to make here? Um, right, I need to make the repair tool. So I need crystalline sulfur. I'm pretty sure we can actually find that closer to the surface than y'all may think. I know I was certainly surprised when I saw that, but yeah, I'm gonna make a battery. I need battery, lubricant, and copper wire. I can make the copper wire. And I think I can make a battery. OEM, thank you for the 100 bits. Forgets to, forgot to add the cheer the first time. Coal, umbrella, because everything is coal and everything is umbrella. Careful with that though, because you may cause a feedback loop which could end all existence across all time and space. Okay, to quickly explain this one, this joke comes from my Valheim streams uh, because in that game, when you overcook meat, it turns to coal for some reason. So the in joke just became that everything at its core is coal. That's it. That's the joke. Moving on. If everything is coal, but you make coal umbrella and everything is umbrella, then what? Then which came first, umbrella or coal? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm completely losing track of what the fuck I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the plot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how the fuck I keep getting distracted. I do though. So pardon me, I'm gonna make a sea moth and calm the fuck down. Uh, no, not a sea moth, a sea glide and calm the fuck down. Alcatraz, thank you for the 100 bits. How are you doing and enjoying below zero? is a personal mm. transportation device used for high-speed free diving contains a built-in light and map oh i'm doing fine i'm just making myself giggle at dumb jokes oh hey they made the sea glide smaller like it doesn't take up nearly as much inventory nice i like that that's good i prefer that thank you all right let's go get that supply cache i'm sure we won't run into anything horrible at nighttime i don't know why you would think that <laughs> what could what could possibly be out there that can make you make you nervous about going out at night, chat? I don't know what the hell. What, what, what's, what, could, what could possibly? What could possibly be out there? Oh, hello, lead. Got you quick. Nice. Rain was made by Umbrella to sell umbrellas. We found the source of their funding. Whoop. No, go away. Stop it. I am going to scan you, though. Now, remember correctly, those little guys can shoot uh, cryo breath or whatever and freeze me which i don't want to have happen for obvious reasons oxygen also oxygen <laughs> so i'm told it's important to live who even started it i don't remember who started the umbrella thing i i think i just i, I don't remember i think someone just randomly mentioned umbrella while we were talking about something else and then it just spiraled out of my control and i don't know where we are anymore i don't know i don't know where we ended up but we're here now hope you enjoy your stay I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. Is that the guy from the trailer? <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. I don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. 
No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Ah, so the plot thickens. Yeah, yeah I do like that you just, they just give you a beacon right away. It's, it immediately makes it seem important. I like that. As opposed to just leaving it, uh, uh, leaving it for you to make yourself, which is probably why I never made them in my original playthrough. <laughs> I barely knew they existed. At the beginning of the first age, the nature of the universe split. One half became coal, dark, flammable, and the base of all matter. The other half became umbrella, terrible, and becoming the basis of all evil. Together, these elements created the world. Soon, however, for, for, soon, however, from where coal and umbrella met came the dominant species of Earth, humanity, the matter of coal with the ability of evil of Altera. I'm sorry, umbrella. Fuck. Now I'm getting them confused. Which mega, which evil megacorp are we talking about again? <laughs> ah, yes, the oxygen plants. I actually, I'm actually curious what the uh, the info on these things is. The oxygen plant produces a harvestable reserve of oxygen in its bioluminescent floating bulk. It is hypothesized that this attracts territorial air-breathing fauna, forming a symbiotic relationship that protects the plant from herbivorous, from herbivorous fish. Huh. That's actually interesting. Is that, uh, that's the sea moth, but I mean, I guess I could, there's sea moth? No. It's a fucking sea glide, you, you fucking monkey. Get it? It's a sea monkey nest. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. All right, well, we now, we gotta, we gotta scan the penguins. Bird-like creatures hunt small fish below the waters, huddles and packs in the ice above, consumes small prey, and regurgitates them for its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed within the beak can tear chunks out of, an, out of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Less cuddly than they look. Up. Oh, pretty sure you were floating for a minute there, little guy. A pengling. Young penguins tend to huddle on dry land while waiting for their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adults in the huddle. They st- <laughs> Oh, just a little one falling in the background. They stay in the center of the huddle to stay warm out of, uh, and out of the wind. If separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young penguins, so please don't do this. Assessment. Harmless. Hello. Alright, time to go back in the water before it freeze to death. Aha! There's our first sea truck piece. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Excellent. Well, first we also need to find the, uh, fucking... Oh, what's the term for it, Seth? You know this one. You've played these games before. You know it. You know it. Uh... Oh. You can actually hear it this time. That sounds like a distress call. It doesn't? Yeah, I guess it does. I guess it is an SOS. I mean, that wouldn't be my first thought, but I guess, I guess, uh, Sam is more experienced in this sort of thing than I am. Robin, pardon me. Saren, thank you for the, uh, 24 month resub full two years. Two years of quality entertainment. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Even though I don't agree on the quality part, I am still happy you stuck around. 30 seconds of oxygen. Let's get some oxygen first before we go up there. Or down there, rather. Uh, oxygen plants anywhere nearby? Nope. Okay, up we go. So far, Robin's fine. Like, I don't mind. I really don't mind the new voice acting at all. The new, Especially now, the new voice actor is much better. Now the game's fully released, they actually did a whole lot to make the story better. So far. New blueprint synthesized. So far, I quite like it. Uh, what was I looking for? I've completely forgotten what I'm looking for again. We're looking for silver, and there was also a habitat station that I could uh, scan things in. I just didn't do it at the time because uh, I was running out of oxygen, but I think it's this way. Back the other way. Or was it this way? I don't think it was this way. Yeah, it was back this, it was back toward the, oh, sea monkeys, first of all. I'm gonna scan you, and then immediately put my scanner away because I know how you operate. Ah, uh, shit. I don't... Whoa. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, jet shark. How you doing? A brute shark, pardon me. You look like a jet. Ow! So I'm gonna call you a jet shark. Just gonna scan you real quick and be on my way. Should probably also... Oh, I've, I left the, uh, the med kit behind. That's unfortunate. 
See truck log and disciplinary meeting. Brad, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Well, it needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. Well, that was an odd audio glitch. And, uh, yeah, Manuel is every bit the sleazebag I envisioned him sounding like. In fact, every more. <laughs> or, in fact, even more. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. And we shall in just a moment, as soon as I heal my ouchies and uh, get me some water. The la laughter was so uncomfortable, it was inaudible. A laugh so fake that it ceased to exist from the game's audio files. Gotta say, that's impressive. What am I doing? <laughs> I completely forgot. Okay, uh, I need more titanium. Well, I got the titanium. I need. I just need silver ore now. Which again, is kind of the big, is kind of the, uh, the hang up. So I think I need to go to the... Jesus, how bad is it on the surface right now? It's bad. And this is an actual lightning hail storm. Jesus would not want to live here. I mean, I wouldn't, and I'm pretty sure Jesus wouldn't either. Oh, hello. Mobile vehicle bay fragment, good. Oh, oh, da, 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 da. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it, little guy. I know what you're thinking, but don't. It's rude, it's my property, and it isn't for you. 45, 46B cons. Extreme weather that might kill you. Pros, Putin too. Add to that con, ma add to those cons, massive underwater screaming nightmare creatures that also want to eat you. But uh, hey, at least you get a nice view. Uh, what do we got down here? Anything? Laser cutter fragment, that's useful. Uh, and shuriken fish, or spinner fish. I'm calling you shuriken fish. I'm gonna throw you into the face of my enemies. Up. Oh. oh, fuck off. Oh. The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. Uh, I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with a manual. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. God damn, Jeff is a mood. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Uh, Fred, I'm sorry, Fred. Jeff is not a mood. Jeff's a fuckhead. Fred is much more of a mood. Uh, down, going down the hole. Oh, is this it? Argonite outcrop. This might be what I'm looking for. Silver and titanium, and it's gonna drop titanium. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Although that would have made for a good, that would have made for a really well-timed joke. So at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed, but also not really. Uh, need more. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try to not get lost down here. And these, I know I'm gonna need these for later. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these while I'm down here, because these are excellent fuel sources for bioreactors. And I believe we can also glow the uh, glow these, grow these on outcroppings. Or crop plots. That's the word I meant to use. Okay, before I drown, I'm going to leave now.
besides we got what i was looking for so i'm gonna go make myself a higher capacity oxygen tank before i go any further and there we go off off offcellent what i said excellent and oxygen i tried to say excellent and oxy oxygen at the same time and somehow my brain came up with offcellent uh, okay uh before we head out let's find some more of those pinky boys to make ourselves some water there we go and you i'm gonna scan you first wait no arctic peeper come back i must know your ways before i consume your flesh Altera, beacon signature detected unique identifier delta station dock delta station this is the place lil mentioned in her message we'll head that way later oh yeah i'm aware the uh, the air bladder is more useful uh this time around i'm just gonna make a bunch of uh water first then we'll make an air bladder if you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Okay. <laughs> that was, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. All right. You get it. You, you, you got me with that one, Subnautica. Well done. All right. This is the island yeah that's the island and that means that there's gonna be big things between here and there so i should actually wait until i make the sea truck yeah actually there, there could be sea truck parts around there ah fuck it let's go this is a good idea ah yep there they are that's not a leviathan that is basically this game's version of not not like it's wouldn't say it's the version of the stalker but it's definitely not a leviathan it's just big and angry. So we're going to go ahead and duck that. Ooh, this might not have been the best idea I have ever had. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> and hey, free beacon, I'll take it. Thank you. Hey, this PDA can actually be picked up now. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah. I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Good on you, Fred. Good on you. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Now that voice should sound familiar to a lot of you. I say this because uh, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait to air my grievances and not the story, not the story. Stories that like, I'm fine with what happens in the story, but I have grievances with something else non-story related. In fact, it's more YouTube comments related. I'll get to that in a minute after I've warmed up and not dying. Shrub nut. <laughs> I don't like that it's called a shrub nut and I pick it out from underneath it between what looks like legs. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. God damn, this game really is fucking beautiful. Like, holy hell. So good looking. Another mineral tool fragment, which we don't need. Manuel gave me this jailbroke, uh, this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary materials. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master certif uh, certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a job as a glorified construction worker. Uh, I should have studied interstellar, interstellar law like Dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumbled across the right outcroppings. Or spending a shit ton of uh, resources to build a scanner room, power it, and then, <laughs> and then search through the entire room. All right. Out we go, and I think this is the thing. Yep. Stop right there, I'll 
Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Say hello to Meta, everyone. We actually finally get to see them in person. The in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. I think I can get the rooms from here. Scanner room, good. <clears throat> but yeah, okay. Small, small, small uh, rant here while we're waiting. Now, the fact that Marguerite Meta is here, perfectly fine. I like her as a character, she's cool. However, while I was uploading the original series to YouTube, you know what the one thing everyone spoiled me on and kept trying and just kept shouting at me in the comments, aside from go to the void? Margaret Meta's alive and below zero. Oh my God, Meta's alive. Did you not know this? Hey, Meta's not dead. She's alive and below zero. She kills the thing and escapes to the surface. Why do people just chomp at the bit to spoil something? Like, some people are so... Much obliged, partner. Fucking desperate to show they know more about a thing than you that they will deliberately ruin your experience just to spo just to do that. Thankfully, by this point, I was already aware that Meta was alive because I had already come across her in the stream. However, just the fact that people were spoiling that moment in the comments, not just for me, but for anybody who happened to be perusing through the comments, that shit fucking sucks. So please. The reason why people hate spoilers is because they know- is because- And the reason why I basically outlaw them from my fucking channel is not because, not just because it ruins my experience, but because it could, because it could potentially ruin the experience of other people watching or just reading the comments. So please, for the love of God, keep it in your pants. Thank you. This has been a PSA from the Sothoran Foundation. Moving on. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Was that an Among Us joke? A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. <laughs> As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. <laughs> oh, oh, and I got the tower up and running. <clears throat> Maintenance complete. Good job. <laughs> Good luck with the birds. Open shaving kit. Pick up Fred's shaving kit. What? <laughs> okay. All right, we got Fred's shaving kit, everybody. I know we all wanted that. 
We can apparently apply it to a... Uh, why would we... Oh, we could just set it down. Oh, oh, it's decoration. Okay, I thought it actually served a purpose. No, it's just decoration. Okay, fair. Subnautica Below Zero, sponsored by Manscaped. Sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Uh, well, there is Emmanuel Dick Dastardly Richard right there. Good. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Oh, I hate this guy. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. I hate this guy's face. I hate his voice. Really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. I just do not like this man, and I hope he is dead. <laughs> I hope he is dead. He really nails that tone of voice that makes you want to deck. Oh yeah, full fucking credit to the voice actor. They pulled off the fucking like sleazy manager that you wish you could punch in the face, but like the character themselves, I hate. The voice actor is doing. A fucking stellar job. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in the project. You know there's nothing. I'm sorry I got hypnotized. What was he talking about? Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot of intervening. New employee... <clears throat> New employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is a, is a fully functional simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communication from the tower, including distress calls, security alerts, and spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the, ter via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Please don't freeze to death while you're reading this training mon while you're reading this training manual, as that is against company policy. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. 
I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. I kind of like Jeremiah in just the, this guy is nuts, but I kind of want to see where he's going with this way. <laughs> I kind of like him to be honest. The spite he has for those birds in his voice. It's so good. So good. The voice acting all across the board so far has been really good. Battery, water, and food. Excellent. All right, we got a pretty decent haul here. I think that might be everything on the island. <clears throat> or at least a decent bit of it. Problem is, I'm out of inventory space anyway, so I, if there is something else here, I probably won't be able to pick it up. I'll make one more sweep around this edge just to be sure I've gotten everything I need, but I think at this point, I should probably start heading back. Penglings. Pengu penguins, pardon me. All right, I think we're about done here. One more check in here to make sure. This alien technology oh. exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How could I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? Huh. Didn't expect Signal to find that. Uploaded to PDA. Oh. Oh, inventory full, but that's easily solved by gulping down some water. Absolutely gonna need this. I think that might be new. Neat. Alright, so that's the pilot's last known location. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's Meta's last known location, so we went ahead to the alien distress call first. Don't bounce the ultra compact nuclear battery, Robin, please. <laughs> Robin, the hyper compressed nuclear power device is not a toy. Please stop using it for kickball. Back this way we go. Probably not a good idea to be going this way. But fuck it. When have I ever been a bastion of good ideas, chat? Never is the answer to that. I ain't gonna need that silver. Give me it. Well, we did find a sea truck fragment. Still no sign of the uh, other parts. Yeah, don't need that now. Still no sign of the other parts for the mobile vehicle bay. We'll find that soon, I'm sure. Oh, is this where- Yes! The grow bed! Good! Yes! Excellent! Need this. I'm gonna come back here later because there's stuff I want to pick up. Drop a beacon here. Oh, that is really handy. When you're naming your beacon, it actually pauses the game. That is really handy. Wait, I think I may have done this wrong. Which direction am I going? Not this way. Whee! <laughs> Didn't mean to go up that far. That works. I think we're fall I think we're on the right path though. Yep, I can still hear it. Here we go. Hello? Oh. Very kind of you. Hello? Is someone there? Much obliged, Mark. We're running out of time. What is all this? Seeking information seeks to what she needs here. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not be exposed. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You were not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. You know, I would say, the funny thing is, we already know that uh, Robin has dealt with the uh, aliens before and the architects are more well known now. So I think this reaction to their presence is more believable than I was at first thinking. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning, Sanctuary Power, critical. 
Our data can be downloaded from the drone. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurrying. And here we go. Storage medium accepted. Brace for Chester. Brace? Transfer complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Well, we now have an alien in our head. Good. Also, uh... Little known fact, in the original script, um, well, the original script before this one, the data transfer to your cerebral cortex was a mistake, like an accident. Even the alien in the, uh, the box didn't know what happened. In this one, they changed it, uh, because to the architects, um, cybernetic and physical components are one and the same, because they, you know, they're mostly cybernetic. They transfer themselves through, like, data processors. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. Point is... Much obliged, partner. The different reasoning behind uh, the alien in the cube going into your brain being that they didn't know that humans considered uh, organic and cybernetic components separate is a bit more clever. I like it. It's going... It's like a culture shock thing to both Robin and the alien as simul simultaneously. And I find that neat. Techno-organic being, yeah, techno-organic, semi-hive mind, collective, something like that. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Don't worry, I'm not staying down here long. I'm going to be going back to the safe shallows and finding the rest of the, uh, the fucking thing. You know the one. The thing that makes me th make the things that go foosh. Rebreather. Oh, that's important. That's very important. And now... Let me find a good, uh, a good spot for this. Okay. Oi! <laughs> okay. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Apologize, that was a dumb joke. But I had to do it. <laughs> the air bladder is a lot of fun in this game. I really like it. It's just fun to launch yourself over the surface of the water. <laughs> and unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit our time limit. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. All right. Questions for next time. Because, unfortunately, <clears throat> I have to go. But thank you all for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. This was a wonderful first stream back in Subnautica. And uh, we'll be playing this more tomorrow, that is for sure. So thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. And maybe we'll be going for a little bit longer. It depends on what's going on tomorrow. Either way... I also have something, we also have a, uh, possibly anyway, another co-op stream on Sunday. For now, though, 
see you all next time thank you for joining me that was a lot of fun glad to be back in subnautica at last and this is going to be one hell of an adventure see you later folks if you want to catch these streams way before they appear on youtube then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash sathorvan i stream every weekend and i would love to see you there if you want to keep up to date with this channel then be sure to like this video hit subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload thanks for watching and i'll see you next time